Hello again. Unfortunately, I actually ended my video instead of just pausing it. My apologies. I'm coming back. Here is my box. Um, put together from the bottom, only taping up the bottom, but taping it so that it is, uh, we can use it to transport our items. This is going to be our container for the whole job's uh, life. So this is actually also the box that we'll be shipping in. Uh, to know what size of box to use, there are two sizes here available, and it's broken down into a box to use with orders with less than 24 pieces, or a box to use for uh, items or orders that have 24 or more items. So looking at this order, um, this is just going to be for one order. And as you can see, there's well more than uh, 24 items. So we're gonna go ahead and use the big boy. So now the next thing to do in this case is to take everything out of this box and lay it all out into uh, piles that correspond to size and piles that correspond to, go to color. Um, thankfully in this one, there's only one color. So we'll only need to be worrying about breaking it down into sizes. Uh, so I will go ahead and do that off camera and I will show you my results here in a second. Hopefully I won't accidentally completely stopped the video. Welcome back. Uh, got everything that was in the order box counted and sorted using the PO sheet and also the work order sheet to make sure that they correspond with each other. Uh, so everything in the PO that says was delivered was actually in the box. That's a really good thing. And then looking at the work order, everything here corresponds. Uh, there was this little confusing bit here uh, that these quantities just didn't match at all so what I how I handled it is I actually went to the original salesperson uh, went ahead and confirmed whether or not this was from an older order which it was so we could go ahead and disregard that but now I'm confident that all of the quantities of the products with the work order and the PO number actually match up everything is here and everything is where it needs to be so from this step forward what we would do if there were multiple work orders that used these products from here we would take one box at a time or one work order at a time and grab from the sorted items what that work order um, is calling for so for example say there was a second work order that needed all of the large um shirts i would go ahead take that box for the second work order and put all my large shirts into that box. And that way we would actually uh, go ahead and, uh, I'm sorry, I'm losing my words, go ahead and sort the orders into their uh, effective work orders. Again, like I said, this, is, this order was just for one work order. Uh, so all these garments are gonna go ahead and be placed in that box. So let me do that right quick. Welcome back, everything is in the box. And it's ready to be staged in its next location. It will go into the apparel rating, awaiting rack, which is where orders that have all of their items and aren't waiting for further uh, deliveries to actually fill out those items go to be staged before artwork and production is ready to move forward with these orders. Uh, so let's go ahead and place it there. Uh, welcome back. So here we are with this Lister Sister order actually placed on the rack. It has been counted in, everything's accounted for. The blue sleeve is placed out front so that visually we can see where this order is going to in the next process. Um, so for example, I wanted to point out a little bit, uh, if this order hadn't been completed, I wouldn't have placed it on this rack, I would have placed it over here. And similarly, I would have, you can see that these uh, have it um, I would have placed a check-in sticker. And I would describe what needs to be ordered and what or what needs to actually come in. And I would take that sleeve um, and place it back onto here on the wall so that we know that this is still awaiting deliveries. Um, again, this was Sam. I hope that this was an illuminating video. Um, and, Apparel intake can be extremely 
uh, challenging, it could be confusing, even with multiple people. So with this process, I hope it comes out that it's easier, more efficient, and it helps eliminate errors or miscounts. So I hope this helps you all and you have a wonderful day.